Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, object downed by USAF possibly launched by hobbyists. NASA's Perseverance rover photographs its accomplishments. AAL Flight 106 pilots to testify before NTSB. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talent Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Object downed by USAF possibly launched by hobbyists. A group of aerial hobbyists in northern Illinois is contending that an unidentified flying object shot out of U.S. skies last week by a $400,000 AIM-9 Sidewinder missile fired from a $334 million F-22 Raptor might have been their $12 balloon. On Wednesday, February 15th, the Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade declared one of its exploratory Pico balloons had gone missing. A Pico balloon is a three-foot mylar foil party balloon filled partially with ultra-pure helium gas. Commonly equipped with a single 13-gram solar-powered automatic packet reporting system transmitter, the contraptions are designed to travel aloft for long distances at high altitudes and not be recovered. On many occasions, Pico balloons, which are functionally exempt from FAA airspace regulations in so much as they mass less than 6 pounds, have repeatedly circumnavigated the globe before descending. What's more, as they can be purchased for as little as $12. The last transmission made by the Pico balloon belonging to the Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade was reportedly broadcast on February 10, 2023, from a point 38,910 feet above Alaska's north coast. The balloon at that time was moving east towards Canada's Yukon Territory. The following day, U.S. officials alleged an F-22 fighter jet had downed an object floating over the Yukon Territory at an approximate altitude of flight level 400. And after the break, Amerijet opens Pathway Program with Embry-Riddle. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Amerijet opens Pathway Program with Embry-Riddle. Amerijet International Airlines is the newest carrier to be added to the roster of pilot pathway programs at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The school is the first university to sign such an agreement with Amerijet. Like similar programs from other carriers, Amerijet will, quote, recruit and provide mentoring and coaching to sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are enrolled in the aeronautical science degree program, end quote, with preferential treatment in training and hiring once graduates complete three semesters as full-time CFIs at the school. Leak in second Soyuz capsule further delays ISS crew rotation. ISS safety has been of concern since a Russian Soyuz sprang a coolant leak in December. Soyuz capsules also act as lifeboats in which station personnel may shelter or escape in the event of emergency. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and Russian cosmonaut Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Pedelin traveled to the ISS aboard MS-22 last year and were to return this March via the same vehicle. Russian technicians determined the new Soyuz by which the crew was to have been fetched home had sprung a leak similar to that seen on Soyuz MS-22. Roscosmos set forth that it would push the launch of the replacement spacecraft to March. Blade Air Mobility and Beta Complete eVTOL Test Flight New York's Blade Air Mobility and Beta Technologies announced the recent successful test flight of Beta's Alia 250 EVA, electric vertical aircraft, at the Westchester County Airport in White Plains, New York. 
The flight marked the first test of a piloted EVA in the greater New York City area and instantiated an initial success of the two companies' plan to bring safe, quiet, and sustainable air transportation to commuter and commercial customers. New FAA rule calls for SMS at Part 139 airports. A new rule set forth by the FAA obligates airports certified under Part 139 of the FARs to establish and implement SMS protocols. According to the FAA, the term safety management system denotes a formal, top-down organization-wide approach to managing safety risk and assuring the effectiveness of safety risk controls. SMS includes procedures, practices, and policies for the mitigation and management of all hazards likely to be encountered by air, ground, and maintenance crew members, as well as passengers and any others. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. NASA's Perseverance rover photographs its accomplishments. NASA's Perseverance rover, it's a car-sized, six-wheel marvel designed and deployed to explore Mars's Jezero crater as part of the agency's Mars 2020 mission. Perseverance was launched on July 30, 2020 and touched down on the red planet surface in February 2021. As of February 16, 2023, the contraption has been dutifully traversing Mars's inhospitable vistas for 728 Earth days. Over the course of five weeks beginning in December 2022, Perseverance busied itself constructing a sample depot atop a patch of Martian ground called Three Forks. Presently, the cache comprises 10 sealed titanium tubes, eight containing samples of Martian rock and regolith, one containing a sample of Mars's atmosphere, and a witness tube preloaded with materials capable of capturing molecular and particulate contaminants potentially detrimental to the mission's scientific objectives. NASA and the European Space Agency seek to retrieve and transport the cache sample tubes to Earth in approximately 10 years' time. The retrieval endeavor's fundamental architecture calls for perseverance to deliver the cache tubes to a NASA lander, which, once loaded, will ascend to Mars orbit, where a waiting ESA-built spacecraft will secure the payload of sample tubes and return such to Earth, perhaps as early as 2033. The lander and ESA retrieval craft are slated to launch in 2027 and 2028. And after these messages, AAL Flight 106 pilots to testify before NTSB. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. AAL Flight 106 pilots to testify before NTSB. After much ado and protracted posturing on the parts of the Allied Pilots Association and U.S. federal agencies, the pilots of American Airlines Flight 106 have conceded to appear before the NTSB for purpose of offering testimony pertaining to a January 13th runway incursion incident at JFK. Repeated refusals by the Flight 106 pilots to grant post-incident interviews to NTSB investigators compelled the board to threaten the aviators with subpoenas. Notwithstanding previous assertions that recorded interviews undermine the investigative process, the APA stated on February 17 that the interviews would proceed. Allied Pilots Association spokesman Dennis Tager remarked, quote, The pilots intend to appear for their interviews in accordance with the subpoenas. All parties to the investigation, excepting the NTSB, are prohibited from speaking about the investigation while it's pending under NTSB rules, end quote. The NTSB recently issued a statement pertaining to and defending the use of recorded interviews in aviation accident investigations. The board statement cited an incident in which American Airlines Flight 106, a Boeing 777-200 departing New York's JFK bound for London Heathrow, crossed JFK's runway 4L without ATC clearance. The resultant runway incursion compelled the flight crew of Delta Airlines Flight 1943, a Boeing 737-900ER departing for Santo Domingo, to abort a takeoff on JFK runway 4L. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.